Hello, my name is Dana and I'm an associate at CAM Investor Solutions. In a previous video, I went over an overview of Right Capital, the planning portal we use here at CAM Investor Solutions. Today, I'm going to do a deep dive into how to get the most out of the tool by linking accounts and adding accounts. What you should see here is the profile tab of Right Capital. So on the top right, you can click on the profile tab and then you can click net worth. From here, we have the about ability to link accounts and add accounts. To get the most out of a tool, what we'll do is link any available accounts we have. So that could be a bank account, a credit card account, um, an investment account, even if your mortgage is held within an account that you log into. Anything that you can log into online can, in most cases, be linked to using Right Capital. And so how you would do that would you, is you would click this plus link account button. And then you would either click from the list of options below, or you would type in the account you would like to link. So if you have a bank account at Chase, you would click this Chase button. Or let's say there's something that you don't see here, such as First Bank. You would type in First Bank, and you would see through the list which account do you want to link. So what you wanna make sure when you're linking an account is that the URL, this www dot matches similar to the same as what you would log into if you were to go to their account directly. So if you don't see it, you can type in different options. So you can do first bank, first bank. Um, and so once you find the account that you're looking for, you'll click on it and then you'll type in your email or username and your password that you would use to log into that account. And so let's say on our communityfirst.com account, what you'll do is you'll put in your email, your password, and then you would click connect. So once you click connect, it'll give you a notification that says your account is being linked, or what it'll do, it will ask you for further identification. And so sometimes it'll send you an email, send you a text code with a four digit or six digit number that you would log in for multi-factor identification. Sometimes it will have you go to your email and confirm that you are who you say you are. And so what that does is that really just creates an extra level of security for your account. Once you create, once you log in with that account, you can add another one. Let's say you want to log into your US bank account. You're going to click which type of US bank it is. Here is just the original one. You'll put in your username and your password. So that may be Dana Thibodeau, might be my username, and my password may be something else. And you'll click Connect. And it again, it'll give you that confirmation that you want to add that account. If you don't want to link accounts, you also have the option to add an account manually. So oh, oftentimes we'll have gone through and done this for you with the information we have. But if you have further information that we don't have, you'll click add account. Let's say you want to add an investment account. It's going to be an 401k account. You'll type in Jane's 401k. You'll put in the cash value. You'll mark who the account goes to. And then you can add any further information. So the benefit to linking an account is it'll all come over automatically and it'll update almost every day depending on the account. When you do an account manually, you have to come in here and you have to put each of your holdings and then you would have to save that information and if anything changes, um, you as the client or the advisor would have to come in and update that information. 
So the benefit to linking is that you avoid that extra step of adding that in information in manually and you also have it always updated. One thing to keep in mind is when you're importing, sometimes it takes a little while and so you can see which accounts you have in progress of importing up here. And you can also see if there's any errors associated with it. And if you do run into error, any errors, which doesn't happen often, you would reach out to myself at CAM Investor Solutions and I would help you get through any errors in linking your account. By clicking this green arrow, you'll have the ability to update your accounts. And so most of them, as I mentioned, would update every night at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. Um, but if you want to see how it's updated today, right now, you would click this green button and it would update all your linked accounts. If you have any questions about linking accounts, adding accounts in your right capital profile, please reach out to myself, Dana. My email is Dana at caminvestor.com. We're happy to help you set up anything and get you using right capital in the best way possible. Thank you.